Basically, Jesus was making the distinction between sin and error. Because error is correctable. And we have to remember that no matter who we're talking to, who we're with, who we're living with, it's just a lot of opportunities because error is correctable. Mistakes are correctable. But sin is this belief that there's something dark and devious that, that has more power than love. It's a really strange thing, this thing called sin. And yet, sin is reinforced by punishment. So if you watch the day-to-day -day interactions, the little grievances and gripes and everything usually center around this idea that somebody said or did something wrong and they should be punished. You know, and, and it basically the teaching is whenever you have a grievance or an irritation that you push down and you hold on to it secretly, you're basically saying to your brothers and sisters, you know, behold me at at your hands, you know, I'm I'm dying. Uh, and and the correction of error is more behold at your hands I live. Mm. We live. We live mm. together in the Christ. There's mm. a likeness with it. Mm. So we're lifting this dark veil of sin, uh, which is supposed to be this black mark on your soul or something that you're going to have to pay for eventually. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. You don't have to pay for anything. Mm. There are consequences to beliefs, but those beliefs can be changed. If there are erroneous beliefs, then you accept a correction. Mm. And I love that idea that, <coughs> that errors can be corrected. In fact, errors have been corrected. Mm. We're just accepting the correction mm -hmm. right now. It's already, it's already accomplished. The grace is already there. 